Hi there and welcome to my channel TJ's Travel and Food. I like to make videos about traveling, travel uh, vlogs, updates, what to do when you go to a new place, sightseeing, touring, shopping, food options and so much more. I also do restaurant reviews, food reviews. So if you would like to see more such videos then do subscribe to my channel and do hit the like button on this video if you like. Today this video is going to be about my annual Grand Kurti haul. Now why I say annual is because I am not a very shopping kind of a person. It doesn't mean I don't like to shop. I love shopping but window shopping. You leave me in a street shop or a you know market, bazaar, mall. I could spend hours just looking at all the goods there, all the lovely stuff. But when it actually comes to purchasing an item, I just black out. Right? So that's the reason why I do not go shopping often or very very rarely I go shopping. Right? So I have this plan, actually it's kind of a ritual you can say, going on for the past two years. Every start of the year I go for one huge shopping haul which usually keeps me good for the rest of the year. I do not actually want to shop more but my mother who still is my fairy godmother she convinces me that I need to buy at least a few set of new clothes every year so this year I just finished with my shopping haul kurtis right because kurtis I feel are so versatile for work for casual outings even if you are a stay at home person then kurtis I think can be balanced to look traditional or look casual or even look modern right so here is my grand kurti haul or uh, annual kurti haul actually let's quickly get in to see what are the amazing things that I got. Now the shops that I visited are uh, quite easy to locate all over the country, right? Uh, brands like Biba, Jashna, Soch, W, Aurelia, Melange. These are some brands that we can see all across the country. Most of them have outlets within your uh, fashion shops like Lifestyle, Pantaloons, Shop Stop and so on. They also have standalone shops. Now, I went to a mall near my house which had uh, outlets for each of these. You had a Biba outlet, you had an outlet for Jashin, Soch, W, you had one for Fab India. I checked out all of these shops thanks to my mom and I picked out around 6 to 7 kurtis from here. So, let's start with the daily ones or daily wear casual kurtis that I bought. Now most of these stores were having a sale going on, 50% off, 40% off and some of them were even offering a buy one get one offer, right? Um, you can always buy clothes online. I have done so in the past but my experiences were not that great. Fitting wise they were good but the material would always be something which I had not expected. If I was ordering something cotton, something more uh, the, you know, a more uh, strong material, the material always come out to be more uh, flimsy. So I was not satisfied. So I would always suggest that you go to the store, wear the clothes, try them on and only when you are satisfied, go ahead and buy them, right? So the first uh, top here I have with me is from W. It's a slightly orange pink shade kurta right with a very beautiful detailing around the neck this one is not actually cotton it's a slight viscose kind of a material flowy it's not very stiff but i found it comfortable and it also has a cute detailing near the sleeve these small chunkies so this one was for 1499 w now I bought this from Lifestyle, the W counter at Lifestyle and they had an offer going on two kurtas for 1499 or actually buy one get one right and most of them are priced at 1499 so I got two for the same price. So this one was definitely for casual wear, wearing for going out generally. The second one that I got from W is this white cotton kurta now this one is a more uh, firm I can say a more uh, thick material as compared to the previous one this one I really liked for the neck detailing the contrast of black and white around the neck 
and this very beautiful floral print also so this one I had to get it slightly sized for my size both these kurtas are from W and together I got them for 1499 the next shop that I went to was Biba now Biba is one store I have loved for quite a lot of time mostly because their signature dresses are usually these long anarkalis, right? They have floor length gowns and dresses and they actually have good quality cotton and silk there. This time round, of course, I was not looking for a party wear. I just wanted a daily wear kurta, right? Biba also had a sale going on. Most of their uh, garments were 40% off. So I got this floral kurta. It's cotton very simple neck detailing it doesn't have a lot of work just design at the bottom right now this was actually a sleeveless kurta with the uh, option of sleeves if you want and I got the sleeves stitched from the shop most of these shops almost all actually uh, provide free um, tailoring services for example if you need to have sleeves attached or if you need some uh, fitting issues if it's not fitting you right then most of these shops offer such um, fitting and tailoring services free of cost so be sure to avail them in case the garments that you have purchased are not fitting you right okay now this kurta was priced at 1299 with a 40% off so I got this one for around 800 rupees including taxes all the extra taxes I really like the very fine print on this I've always been a fan of the Biba um, floral and geometric prints so that's why I went ahead and bought this so the next store after Biba that I went to was Jashn uh, Jashn is uh, this particular outlet was in, in Orbit Mall I'm sure they have other outlets all over the country even in Hyderabad city now Jashn had mostly casual kurtas daily wear kurtas they did not have anything fancy like silk or you know a lot of um, embroidery or fancy kurtas with them they mostly had cottons daily wears synthetic material I tried on quite a few but I was not as convinced with the price and in general the look of it but this one I really liked it's a shirt dress kind of a kurta it has buttons all the way down so just a button detailing and collar and it's something like an anarkali a high waist and it looked really good it was different from the other kurtas so I decided to go ahead and buy it now this one was priced at I think 1800 so next uh, I went to the store called Ibadat so Ibadat, uh, the nearest, um, the two outlets that I know are one in Chandanagar, uh, Hyderabad and the other one is in SLN Terminus Gachibawli. I'm sure they have more uh, outlets, you can easily google it, the one near you. And they also have stores across India. They have in, I think, Mumbai, Gurgaon, Delhi, so on. So you can check the store near to you. Now Ibadat, I really like the colours, the vibrant designs that these people had. So I decided to go ahead and check their collection. So. The first kurtas that I bought here is this slightly off-white kurta. It has block printing kind of designs. The neck has really green, nice patterns. Sleep detailing. This one was for $7.99. No discount on this. It's very like this. It looked perfect for casual day outings. It's also good for workwear if you have to go to work, right? And it's also cool for uh, general outings with family and friends, right? The second one that I picked up at Ibadat is this mustard colored kurta. This one is pretty long, okay? It comes all the way, almost to the ankles. The previous one you saw from Ibadat was uh, just around knee length, came to the knees. This one is much longer and the material is really soft and flowy. 
this material is really nice it's a very good quality cotton sleeves on the side really long this one was priced at 990 but i got this also for 790 right i think 750 actually Next, we went to this shop called Mibaz. I'm sure most of you know Mibaz for its wedding collection, party wear, and specific ethnic wear, right? Party wear and ethnic wear. The reason going here was, uh, apart from daily wear kurtas, my mom really wanted me to have a party wear dress, which you could wear for family functions, get-togethers, or such small events. So, uh, we went to Mibaz, and uh, these people have really nice kurta palazzo sets. They also have churidars, anarkali dresses but I really wanted to have a palazzo set I don't have one so I went ahead and they have really good interesting kurta palazzo sets with dupatta without dupatta so the one I bought does not have a dupatta it just has a high collar kurta with wrinkled material palazzos so let's see how it looks so kurta here as you can see it's a long length really long peach colored silk kurta with a lining inside so it's very comfortable to wear the only thing only concern i have is that the neck is really high it almost kind of sometimes gets irritating around the neck but really pretty it has a nice print all over so this is a full length very long kurta right the bottom for this is palazzo pants these palazzo pants it's a very nice detailing at the bottom and the very cute lutkan also on the side so this is wrinkled really pretty goes really well with the silk top it's actually comfortable for me This is priced at 3490, no discount on it. It is part of their uh, fresh arrivals, I think, so no discount on this piece. And I think it is worth the 3400 because the quality is really nice, the colors are so bright. So, this is, of course, party wear, not for daily wear. So, I went ahead and splurged, and yes, I got myself this suit. The next thing that I bought at Mibaz was this uh, long uh, kurta, asymmetrical. It's currently gone for uh, alteration, for getting the sleeves attached, so I don't have it right now, but you can see the photo here. It has a very nice geometric print right at the center, and these really fair, and it has this fiery red attachments on the side, which were a bit too long for me, so I decided to get them slightly uh, cut a bit, so that it suits my height, but it looks really good, this piece, and... The MRP for this was uh, 1900 but I got it for 900 after discount. This piece was on discount. So that was my kurta haul for this year. Most probably I'll be back with a similar clothing haul next year. In the meantime, I will be of course purchasing some clothes. I'm not saying I'm go not going to buy any. Maybe a couple or two saris for the Shravan Masam. Maybe earrings because I love earrings and I can't have enough of them. Bags usually I do not buy because I just have one um, all functioning bag and a small clutch, right? So I usually don't buy a lot of shoes and bags. It's usually earrings, t-shirts, clothes that I buy on a regular basis. So this was my grand kurta haul for this year. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you found it useful and that it will help you in your shopping trips. Thank you so much again for watching this video. Do not forget to hit the like button if you like the video and do share it with your friends so that they also find it helpful. Do subscribe to my channel if you want to see more interesting videos.